Hello, I'm Smithy. This is my on Tiki. Well, it's not mine, it's mine and my wife's. And I keep saying mine, it's it's ours. This is mine and my wife's con Tiki. And I'm Smithy. Anyway, so I'm going to show you Fablon on the cupboards. Which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Is there 8? Yeah, there's 8. So our first roll did 3. Purely because we messed up. But they do do 4. So it'll do 4. It'll do four, right? That's another party trick. So anyway, so it'll do four. Uh, let's have a look. So we're going to turn that uh, with Fablon into this. So I've took one off. So that's what they're going to look like. There's what I did earlier. So, we're going to see what the transformation is. So, I'll take that one off, I'll show you the cupboards what they look like now, and then you'll see what they look like when I've done. So, let me just put that down there. Where did I put my glasses? Right, I want to make sure you're, I'm actually shooting what I'm supposed to be shooting. Right, so, as you can see, that's what it looks like now. Right? So, we're going to undo this one. That's my gadget cupboard full of all my crap. So, I don't know if you can see that. One, two, three, four screws. No messing about, just four screws each side. And then that comes off. So, there's the latch. And the way you get that latch off, you unscrew it. All right, because that is holding the screw on. So that's, the, that's what you've got to be aware of. Don't try yanking it out. It doesn't yank out, it unscrews. You unscrew it, and then when you've unscrewed it, right, on this side, you have a tiny black washer. So just be careful of what's coming out, and then you've got that, right. So your black washer goes on the end and that in there, and this other one, the washer is on there somewhere. Where did I put it? Right, the washer's there, right. So that's that. So, I'm going to show you how to fab on that, and then you'll know how to do it. And then, I'll show you it all finished, I'll do them all, I made my wife's doing them, and then, job done. So, I'll come back to you, I'll go and fab on that, and I'll show you how to do it. Right, so you've washed all this, we're now going to measure the fab on. And I want it to overlap, so... Get it like that, overlap it, and put a mark, I want it to overlap there. So one of these, one of these rolls is going to do four of your cupboard fronts. Alright. So let's find out where I've put the mark. Can't find it now. It must be this side. Somewhere there. Right. So what we do is use your knees. <laughs> right. And what a straight line across. Well, a straight-ish. Doesn't have to be perfect. But good enough. Let's uh, where are we at there? So, right, there, face. Fold over, and we want this to fold over. So I'd say about there. Try 
going to do a fairly neat line. Right. And yep, we haven't cut through the... Uh, which it wouldn't have mattered anyway, it's only for the dogs. Right, so, what we need to do is try and part this. Now, we have some fun here because I bite my nails. I'll tell you what I could do with. I could do with putting the glasses on. And I can see what I'm doing. Right. There we go. No nails and it still comes off. So what we're going to do, we're going to nicely, gently, fold this back a fair old way. Right. Now it is easier, I must admit, if there is two of you, Although you can get around that if you've uh, if you're on your own. Keep going. Now the trick I've learnt with this fab one is not to stretch it in any way at all. You can help it. Right. Hold that. Remember which side of the wardrobe, the wardrobe, the, which side of the uh, it is you're doing. And you want it. Let's try and get it. Is that going to fold over now? Yep, that's going to fold over nicely. Right. So we've got that there. Turn over. We want no debris on this whatsoever. There's my tool. Right, so what we're going to do, it's not too bad there really, just push that, we're getting all the air out is what we're doing, right, and this is ideal for it, I don't know what you call this, my wife had it in a car so I nicked it off her, and she's not going to find out until she sees the video, so it's as simple as that. And then just keep peeling it back. Keep peeling back like that. And just keep nicely getting the air out. I'll just put that as far back as I can. Use my knee on there. I'll tell you what, I'm no expert, but if I can do this job, anybody can. And I really, really mean that. And the bigger this, whatever you call it, is, the better. I've seen some doing it with little ones, but what a dead simple job it is using this. So there we are, we're done. So that's done. Right. Flip it over. So, we're quite a bit long there. But not to worry. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to cut this down. line if we can. It doesn't matter what happens on this side because you're obviously, unless somebody opens a cupboard they're not going to see this side. Right so what you need to do now is cut the corner on each side. Right so now can stretch it as tight as you can get it over there all right tight as it'll go right over and all the way out that's where your thumbs come in under it Right, 
get your little tool just get every bit of air out you can so what we're going to do now is just trim the corner off if I can get the yeah. trim the corners off don't cut yourself with a Stanley knife yeah exactly the same stretching it as much as you can I'm telling you to cut the corner and I forgot to do it. Right. The good thing is it is fairly forgiving, so let's cut the corner. Right. Then cut the corner. Told you I wasn't an expert. Right. Same again. Corner. There we go. So, cut the excess off. So, exactly the same with the two edges, and I'll show you it finished. So, just bear with me. There you are, job done. Another one done. Right, let's do the rest. Well, there you go. Fablon in the van, job done. As a famous chef says, uh, I'll show you a before and after picture. Well, a before picture and an after video. How about that? And then I'll let you decide whether you think it was any good or not. I've enjoyed it. The wife's enjoyed it. It's been a team effort. I'll let you have a look. You can be the judge.